It's not uncommon that we need to write a word or a name in our markdown document that contains an accent. So some common words in the English language are cafe, naive, facade, jalapeno, or if you're a statistician, maybe you need to write Chaffe, who is a famous historical statistician. This is actually fairly easy to do in a markdown document. You can do this by adding Unicode characters to your document. If you're not familiar with Unicode, then a very basic summary of what Unicode is, is that Unicode is an international standard that is used to render language consistently on computers. So it's supposed to kind of work everywhere on all platforms on all kinds of computers. So how do you add a Unicode character to a markdown document? So the first thing you need to do is identify the decimal number of the character that you want to include. One of the easiest ways to do this is to look at the nice list provided by Wikipedia, which I've already pulled up. And if you look through here, we're in one of the subsections of this Wikipedia page, you can see different characters that we might want to add. And then there are different ways of describing it. And we have the decimal number here. So if we scroll down, I might, for example, want to add the letter E, the lowercase letter E, with an accent over it. So this is going to have the decimal number 233. So now I know I want to add Unicode character 233 to my document. So when I want to actually add the accented Unicode character to my document, I use ampersand and pound symbol or hashtag to indicate the start of the Unicode character. I write the decimal number of the character and then I use the semicolon to indicate the end of the Unicode character. After I've done that, I should be able to render the document. HTML documents are likely going to render without issue. If you are rendering to PDF, then sometimes this is problematic. You might get errors related to Unicode symbols. So it's possible you actually need to change your LaTeX engine. It really depends on the characters that you're using. If so, you might need to change your YAML header to something like this. And maybe instead of XE LaTeX, maybe you use Lua Tech or something like that. Um, but here are some examples. So for example, if I wanted to render cafe, then I would write this in my markdown document. If I wanted to write naive, I would write this in my R markdown document. And so notice here that I have NA, and then the symbol that I want to render with the accent is this I with the two dots above it. And so I have right here, I have the Unicode character. It has decimal number 239. And then I have the V and the E of the word naive. So for facade, we can see here that uh, where the C or the C with the accent would go, I add the decimal, I add decimal number 231, and that's going to render the accented C. If I wanted to write jalapeno, I have the accent over the N here. So when I'm writing the word jalapeno, where the accented N goes, I have ampersand hashtag, and then that particular letter is decimal number 241, and then I have my semicolon to end that. And so when I render that, then I'm going to get something that looks like this. And in case you actually wanted to see what that looks like in our markdown, so here are the exact same examples that I had before. You can see that the word is written out, and when I compile this, when I knit this, it's actually going to render as cafe with the accent. And then to show you what I actually rendered, I have the same thing in code. And so this doesn't actually render because it because our markdown assumes that this is code that should not be ex executed, but simply is supposed to use the code style when it's displayed. And so if I knit this, by default I knit this to an HTML document, you can see it renders everything very nicely. If I want to render to PDF, I'm going to knit it to PDF instead. And when this comes up, I'll zoom in, we can see actually in this case that it did render fine. So cafe, naive, facade, jalapeno, all of them are rendered completely fine just using the default settings for a PDF document. But if it didn't, then I may need to change the output a bit and use a different LaTeX engine.